Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel API Coder. Today we are going to dive into an exciting topic, hand gesture recognition using Python and OpenCV. In this tutorial, we will be using MediaPipe library to detect hand landmarks and recognize the gesture. So if you are interested in computer vision and machine learning, make sure to subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorial. So guys, before we get started, let's make sure you have the required libraries installed. If you haven't already, so here's how you can install the OpenCV and the MediaPipe. So we have to open our terminal or command prompt and we have to just run this command. So I'm just going to open my new terminal and here I will just install the OpenCV. To install the OpenCV, we can simply type this command pip install OpenCV Python. We can just Simply type pip install OpenCV Python and hit enter. So you can see that my requirement is already satisfied because uh, and when I was working with the next process, so I had created to create a uh, uh, chat process. For that, now I will just install the media pipe. To install the media pipe, we can simply type the pip install the media pipe. So you can write here pip install media pipe. Pip install media pipe. So my requirement is already satisfied. You can see that my requirement is already satisfied. I have just installed. Uh, you, I have just told you that I was working before to the another project. So for that, I had just created and I had just installed this library. So there is already installed in my library. So in my system. Now what we will do? We will just import some libraries. Okay. So I will just import here, uh, import CV and import math and import media pipe as an NMP. So I will just import CV and import math and import media pipe as an NMP. Okay. So we have just importing our libraries. We start by importing the necessary libraries. Open CV. You can see the open CV is used. Open CV is used for capturing videos and maths. Math, you can see there is the math. So math is used for mathematical operation. We also import the media pipe. You can see that I have just also imported a media pipe. So which provide us the tools to detect hand landmark and draw them on the screen. Okay. Now we have to just initialize the media pipe hands. Okay. So for that, initialize the media pipe hands. We will write mp hand is equal to np dot solution dot hands mp drawing solution dot utils and hands is equal to mp hands dot hands okay so we have initialized the media pipe hands you can see that we have initialized the media pipe hands you can see that mp dot solution dot hands okay so media pipe hands models and the drawing utilities this will help us to detect and visualize the landmark okay and now we will initialize the video capture okay to capture the video we will just initialize the video capture for that we will initialize the video capture object so cap is equal to cv dot video capture is equal we have just write here the zero because for the default camera for default camera okay so here we have just created a video capture object that access the webcam if you have an external camera you can specify the camera index zero for the default webcam webcam okay now we have to initialize the drawing variable okay for the drawing variable so for that initialize the drawing variable and it is drawing is equal to false drawing color is equal to zero comma two fifty five comma zero Prove x and prove y. Okay, so we have set up a variable for drawing. We have just set up a for variable for drawing. Okay, such as a drawing status and the color, the pre x. You can see the pre x and the pre x y. So variable keeps track of the previous finger position. Okay. Now we have to just uh, main loop for the video capture. Main loop for video capture. For video capture. While while true colon and capture the video from the webcam okay and now while true and uh, capture the video from the webcam rate frame is equal to cap dot read and if not rate break okay so you can see that we have just entered a loop of while loops to continuously capture our video frames from the 
webcam you can see that we have used the while loops to continuously capture the video frame from the webcam and now we have to process video frame with the media pipe okay now we have to process uh, video frame with the media pipe so frame rgb is equal to cv dot cvt color and frame cv to color dot bzr to rgb and process the frame with the media pipe hands okay so in this section we have just convert capture frame to rgb we have just a capture frame to rgb we have just converted the frame to rgb format for processing media pipe hands we have used the hand or process function to detect landmark okay now what is just important right result is equal to hand at process frame rgb if result is dot multi hand landmark if result is equal to multi hand landmark for hand landmark in result dot multi hand landmark for multi hand hand landmark and now we'll just write draw hand landmark mp drawing dot draw landmark frame hand landmark mp hand and hand dot connection and we have to just get a hand landmark as a list okay as a list so if the hand ma hand landmark are detected we have to loop through the draw them on the frame and extract the landmark landmark coordinate you can see the here you can see that landmark is equal to uh, landmark is the list and for landmark in, a, in in hand landmark okay dot landmark and now what we have to just we have to just create a count fingers and display counts so for that what i will do i'll just create a finger count finger count is equal to zero and thumb is equal to landmark four to check and if landmark four four fingers landmark check 20s finger for landmark id 8 12 6 20 and display the finger count <coughs> and save it or dot put text frame and fingers and finger counts okay so i'm just going to explain this about this so here we have just count finger by analyzing the hand landmarks and display the finger count on the screen okay you can see the display the finger count on the screen now we have to recognize the specific hand gesture okay so for that check for a specific a specific hand gesture and if finger count is equal to five column the shibi to that put dog sticks frame open hands if if there is an open hand if there is a five finger if there is a five finger it will show the open hand okay and if finger count is zero it will uh, close first close fist if my hand is equal to zero it will close fist okay so cv dot put uh, put text frame is equal to close close fist and 10 and 100 cv dot font hash is simplex enabling a drawing mode when the thumb and index fingers are closed okay now in, in enabling a drawing mode when the thumb and index finger are closed so thumb tip is equal to landmark 4 index tip is equal to landmark 8 distance equal to math dot sqr thumb tips 0 index tip 0 and thumb tips 1 if distance is lower than 30 drawing is equal to true else drawing is equal to fall drawing on the screen if drawing cv dot line frame or preview x preview x y and landmark 8 0 is the list and landmark 8 1 and draw the color 10 okay so i'm just going to you know enable the drawing modes so enable the drawing modes you can see that enable the drawing modes when the thumb and index finger are closed so this part allow 
allows drawing mode when you bring your thumb and index finger close together okay so you can see that enabling and drawing mode when the thumb and index finger are close so when you bring your thumb and index finger close together we calculate the distance between them and toggle drawing on the off accordingly okay and now we will just display the video frame and the exit loop we will just display the video frame and you can exit the loop part if not needed so cv dot i am show hand gesture recognition so you can change according to your uh, need and uh, exit the loop when so so when you are just uh, uh, running this project and uh, typing the q key you can just exit the loop okay if cv dot weight key is equal to one uh, and zero uh, x f is equal to odd and q break okay so when i will just press a uh, uh, q keyword so it will just break and release the video capture object and close open windows capture dot release capture destroy all window capture destroy all window so now let's see the course in action i'll run this program and you can you can watch as it detects my hand gestures and even enable so i'm just going to detect my hand so let me charge my battery is being getting low so i will just now let's see the codes in the action i will run the program so i will just run the program and you can see you can see the it detects it detects my hand gestures it detects my hand gestures and when i open and you can also count the finger so my right now my i'm showing the five fingers so you can see there there is a five fingers open and if I close, you can see that there are two fingers, three fingers, okay, open hand. And when my hand is closed, so it will show nothing. You can see. Let me just cut this project. So you can see that it detects my hand gestures and even enable the drawing mode. So I have just shown you that it is also enable a drawing mode when I bring my thumb and index finger close together. Okay. That's it for this tutorials on hand gesture recognition using Python and OpenCV. We have covered everything from setting up the environment to implementation, the code and seeing it in action. I hope you found this tutorial informative and exciting. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave them in a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an exciting tutorial like this one. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.